Did you see a lackluster effort out there tonight? Well, you know, we started, I thought, very poorly. I thought we got out of the hole in the second quarter. I thought our bench gave us a lift. Uh, third quarter started. Uh, we had a three-point lead, and then it just got away. So, you know, I thought our rebounding was poor, defensive transition. Um, you know, and as I mentioned to, to our players, it's we have to have a toughness to win. You know, you down Jimmy, you can't come out when you're shorthanded. You can't come out and just think you're gonna go out there and you know and win without putting the work into it. So, you know, the badly out rebounded. Uh, yeah. I know it's early, but does Jimmy mean that much to your team, your defense? Well, I, I, you know, the thing is, uh, we have more than enough to win with. And so you can never underestimate how hard you have to play uh, to win in this league. And so uh, it, and there's going to be, you know, bumps in the road. There's times during a game where it may not be going our way. And you, gotta, you have to battle through those things. And so uh, we're at home, slow start. You know, you got to fight through things and find ways to win, and uh, we didn't do that tonight. Was there the biggest problem defensively that you saw? Pardon? Was there a biggest problem that Indiana took advantage of defensively? Well, I mean, they came out and they're, you know, they're sitting and waiting. They were, had two off days, so that we knew it would be a high-energy game, and that's, you know, so pushing the ball up the floor, uh, you know, they, and we got to be ready for that, and so. And I thought in the second quarter when the bench came in, uh, I thought they played really well and uh, brought us back. And, you know, it's tie score at the half, and you're at home, so you got to find a way to win that game. And we didn't do that. Is it most disappointing that there was no fight effort started to get away from you? Yeah, you know, in that, you know, the thing is, you, you got to fight through things. So there's, I didn't like our body language when it wasn't going our way, you know. And that to me is like, how do you get out? Of, you get into things together. You get out of them together. If you know things aren't going your way, make some hustle plays. You know, help unite and inspire your team. And so I think we're capable of doing that. Uh, you know, and, and it hasn't been easy. We, we've had a you know a tough schedule, but that's. That's the NBA. Sometimes it goes, you know, your way. Sometimes it, it's going against you. But you have to have the toughness to win under all circumstances. And so that's, I guess, that's the the thing that's disappointing. Is more the 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 mental part, the mental toughness of fighting through things. And you know, the the spirit has to remain strong. And you, you have to find ways to win. Tom, the Pacers shot seventy seven percent in the second half. How do you make sense of that? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you're getting easy baskets. And so there wasn't much resistance. We're capable of doing better, and we're going to have to. Was, was Jimmy a shooter around, and when did you find out he wasn't going to play? No, I would, you know, he, he, uh, he wasn't feeling well uh, yesterday. He came in, and he, he did some individual stuff. And then uh, he wasn't at the shoot around, and we were hopeful that he would feel better for the game. And it just, you know, he's he's pretty sick. Will he fly with you to Detroit? Any idea about tomorrow night? We'll we'll see tomorrow. You know, that's uh, you know he, he had some I, IVs and things like that, so hopefully he's better. Do you think this team has a tendency to take achievement for granted? Did they come in tonight overconfident because they are? Theoretically, a better paper, team on well, paper. Well, you know the the thing is, and you know I hope not because in this league, every team is like you can't get here without being a great player. So every team is capable of beating you, and and that's why you want to have a consistency to your preparation, your approach to every game. So your routine, how you get ready uh, when the ball goes up, that it doesn't matter who you're playing against. You should get ready the same way. And that all every game counts the same, so there's no, you know, you don't get an extra point if you, if, you know, you're playing somebody that may be perceived as, you know, a, a 
a great team or someone doesn't matter. And uh, you know, and and I, you know the thing is, as I said, the biggest thing is to you know you want to be able to count on your defense and, and your rebounding. That's you know when we're capable of doing better than we did. Why'd you make them miss free throws, particularly Andrew one of six? Yeah, you know, and the the thing is, is there's going to be nights like that, and you know, you're not going to play great offensively in 82 games, but you can still play really well when you don't shoot well. And so he, you know, it, it wasn't great offensively, but he could rebound. He could play great defense. He could push the ball. He could use his athleticism in a lot of different ways. He can play well without shooting well. And that holds true for every player on our team, you know. And I think that you know, get to the free throw line, get some rebounds. Usually, when you start doing that, you'll get into a rhythm somewhere along the line. And so, um, and that's what we have to learn. We have to, you know. I think sometimes, you know, you you see it all the time where you know teams come back, and especially with the three, the way you know you can can make up ground quickly, but. You, you can never stop fighting. The, the fight has to be there all the time. There were a few performances like this last year. Tom, is it disappointing a year later uh, to, to see another one so early in the season? Uh, like, I don't know, maybe there wasn't the growth or the learning from the last year uh, to avoid these types of games? Yeah, the, the, the biggest thing is, you know, you're coming home. And so, uh, you know, as I said, you know, we're like bouncing around pretty good in, out, in, out. And so be ready to go. You know, we can't be thinking about what happened yesterday or we got to be thinking about exactly what's in front of us. And you have to be ready to play. That's, that's huge. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.